Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, on World Water Day, 22nd of March, we released the 2020 edition of the UN World Water Development Report. This is a UN Water's flagship publication on water and sanitation issues. This year's report focuses on climate change and water. UN Water's members and partners chose this topic for 2020 because right now we have an unprecedented opportunity to put water at the heart of climate change negotiations. With the five-year review of the Paris Agreement, it is our responsibility to ensure that climate policymakers have all the knowledge and tools needed to formulate and implement sustainable water policies. This is what the report provides. It is based on work done by the 32 UN entities and 41 international organizations that make up UN Water. I would like to thank all of them for their hard work and I extend my sincere appreciation to UNESCO for publishing the report on behalf of UN Water and for its World Water Assessment Program for coordinating the production. Dear colleagues, water and climate change are inextricably linked. There are more floods, more droughts, more pollution than ever before. At the same time, we can fight climate change through water. When we protect our wetland, we reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. When we ensure that small-scale farmers have access to water, we improve productivity and resilience. And when we safely reuse our waste water, we reduce the demand for fresh water. These are just a few examples of all the solutions that are at our disposal. I commend the governments, businesses, and people who, every day, make commitments to take action on climate change, and I call on every sector of society to join them. This World Water Day, we all have a role to play, and the United Nations World Water Development Report contributes to paving the way for a sustainable future that leaves no one behind. I thank you.